Hello everyone, this is the Blue Dragon Gamer, and we are playing Kung Fu Panda. There are three difficulty settings to choose from. Naturally, since we're playing as the Dragon Warrior, we'll pick the Dragon Warrior difficulty and hope we don't regret it. Long ago, in a time of ancient, timeless time, when mystical warriors roamed the land, the most awesome kung fu fighters in all of China, the Furious Five, protected the Valley of Peace. But soon would appear a fighter of such extreme skill and legendary bodacity that even the Furious Five would bow in respect to this amazing hero, the Dragon Warrior. To tell that story, we must go back, back to the beginning, when the Dragon Warrior was just a dream. Okay, he was just totally dreaming. Let's begin with level 1, Poe's Dream. Legend tells of a legendary warrior whose kung fu skills were the stuff of legend. He traveled the land in search of worthy foes. Press pause to access your journal. There you will find information about legendary adventures and optional quests. After opening our journal, we have two quests, find and defeat worthy foes, along with finding the family bases. We can also upgrade our basic stats and panda techniques for gold coins. You can move the camera around. Well, hello, stranger. What brings you to our town? Please help! I've lost my family vases. There are ten of them. There's one on the bridge, but I can't get to it. You can press jump to jump into the air. Press it twice quickly to double jump. <laughs> Along our way, we can smash boxes and vases. We can also pick up and throw the vases. <laughs> Here we find the first family base on the bridge. Also smash the box to get some gold coins. food from enemies and broken objects to replenish health. Here we are informed to gather food to restore our health. Huh? Huh? Gather chi energy from fallen enemies to replenish your chi. We are also told to gather blue orbs to restore chi. The warrior smelled fear in the air. But he knew it wasn't coming from him, because he was totally confident. Oh, great! It's Kung Fu Master in the entire 
entire universe and beyond! Save me! Hey, get back here, rabbit! We're not done with you yet! Better stand back, little guy. Once I unleash my total awesomeness, even I cannot be held responsible for what happens. Find worthy foes and bring peace to the village. Press block to block attacks. Remember, block power decreases with each hit from an enemy and regenerates over time. When you block, you see a white shield that goes around you. Use fast attacks and blocks to defeat fast enemies. You can also roll out of the way while blocking to avoid attacks. When fighting enemies, I recommend using the combo square-square-triangle, which causes enemies to drop food along with gold coins. This is a great method for getting gold coins, and trust me, you need a lot of them. Great work, son! Who knew you would be such a kung fu master? Clearly, the warrior's dad had underestimated him. Perhaps, then, you are ready for this? You can combo your attacks by pressing different combinations of buttons. Try to do a strong attack combo. Here we learn about combos, including the square-square-triangle combo that I already mentioned. Now we are attacked by some more boar enemies. Here behind the cart, we find the second family vase. Before we worry about the enemy pacing back and forth, let's go around and break some stuff and gather some gold coins. Let's head over and defeat the enemy. We got lucky and got some extra gold coins. Normally it just sends the enemy flying through the barricade. As you can see, we got credited twice for defeating the same enemy. Press fast, then action to quickly grab and throw an opponent. This is only useful against smaller enemies. Here we see a bunny running from a boar enemy. We can pick up and throw small enemies, but still I tend to stick with the square squares triangle combo in order to get some more gold coins. After defeating the boar enemies in front of the gate, we see the third family vase. This gate cannot be opened. Find a way around it. Okay, we can't head through the gate, so we need to find another way around. Let's go over and make sure the bunny is okay. As you can see, even though we took care of the boars, the bunny is still running around scared. Now we can take the path to the right, leading up. On top of the boxes, we see the fourth family vase. Be sure to get it before destroying the boxes. Now let's get the gold coins floating above the boxes. Then we can break the boxes to get some more gold coins. Try to keep your balance along narrow paths. Carefully balance your way across the narrow path to the other side. Here we are forced to roll along. Just wait till you come to a stop. As you can see, we are now on the other side of the gate. 
Now climb back up using the boxes. Be careful not to break them just yet. Here we can smash the box in the center to get some gold coins. Then shortly after, it begins raining gold coins. Be sure to collect as many as you can. Then we can head down the stairs where we see some more gold coins and the fifth family vase. To the right of the staircase, we see the sixth family vase. Now we can head back around and this time break the boxes. Not even the toughest of enemies were a match for his sheer bodacity. Well, well, who do we have here? I am the Dragon Warrior. Now step aside, bad guy. Here we see a big boar enemy, but for now head over and get the 7th family vase floating above the boxes before they get smashed. Use juggle to knock an enemy into the air. Continue to juggle or knock the enemy forward. This is only useful against smaller enemies. Hold block and then press fast attack at the moment of impact to use iron belly and reflect an enemy's attack back at him. If this costs chi to use. First thing I like to do is break the boxes to get some gold coins. Belly is a good move if enemies get too close because it will push them back. You can also juggle small enemies, but I still would rather get some more gold coins. Stranger. After defeating all the small boar enemies, a big boar enemy appears in front of the building. Just head over and defeat the enemy to get inside. The warrior's reputation is the best of the best, of the best, of the best. Follow him wherever he went. I see you like to chew! Perhaps you like to chew on my fist! Enough talk. Let's fight! Ah! Ah! Here in the corner, we see the 8th family base. Here we have some more boar enemies, both big and small, to defeat, but first I'm going to go around and smash the tables and boxes to check for gold coins. the tables and boxes gone, we can see a couple of weapons on the ground. Make use of weapons for stronger attacks and a longer reach against enemies. Remember, son, weapons will break after a while, and some abilities are not available while holding a weapon. Weapons are fine, but I typically don't find myself using them. 
You can still do the square square triangle combo with a weapon to get the gold coins, but I usually just fight without a weapon. I mean, come on, we're the dragon warrior, we don't need any weapons. After defeating most of the enemies, you get jumped by some of the small boar enemies that start viciously wailing on you. Quickly mash the triangle button to escape. We hate strangers. When you are in the fourth panda stumble, you can move slightly from side to side. Here we are forced along again, just wait till you come to a stop. Here we end up back outside with some more boar enemies to defeat. You can perform Panda Quake using this ability cost Chi Energy. Here we learn about Panda Quake which sends a shockwave damaging all nearby enemies. <laughs> Here we see a weapon on the ground we can use. In the top corner by the food container we find the ninth family base. Here we also see a strange green coin. Congratulations, you have found a rare coin. This unlocks something special in the extras menu. These are rare coins which unlock different things in the extras menu. Here we find the last family base in the bottom corner next to the food container. That completes finding all the family bases. All the way at the bottom, we see some gold coins, along with two boxes containing gold coins. We also see another rare coin in between the two to get. Congratulations, you have found a rare coin. This unlocks something special in the extras menu. Here we also see some weapons lying on the ground. Now let's go defeat the boar enemies. <laughs> Even when faced with the legendary Sword of Heroes, the warrior didn't flinch, because he was that much of a master. After defeating all the boar enemies, we now must face off against a giant boar wielding the legendary Sword of Heroes. This is the boss fight for level 1. Try and keep your distance while waiting for the right opportunity to attack. What I like to do is a running kick which pushes him back. The only problem is when you stop short because then he starts hitting you with the sword. 
Also, if you're too close, he will push you back, which can be a pain. You can also do the square-square triangle combo, but again, be careful not to get too close and make sure your strong attack connects, otherwise you'll probably get hit. Just keep attacking him and soon he'll be defeated. The Master's reflection in the Sword of Heroes looked especially brave today. It's him! Not him! Yes, him! Oh, no! Oh, yes! Oh, shut up! Let's go! I am Tai Lung, and you are no master! <laughs> <laughs> hey, what? Son, quit daydreaming. I got four orders for my famous secret ingredient soup and only two hands! Come on! Okay, Dad. And I was just getting to the good part. As you can see, we completed finding and defeating worthy foes and found all the family bases. Now that we managed to collect a lot of gold coins, let's purchase some upgrades. Let's start with the basic stats. I think I'll just go one at a time and keep them all equal. Now for the panda techniques, same thing, let's keep them all equal. We still have plenty of gold coins, let's go back to the basic stats. Okay, that completes purchasing some upgrades. This is the end of level 1, Poe's Dream.